Speed, power, lifting heavy, that's sexy. You know it's not very sexy? Slowness. You know what else ain't sexy? Working out hard in the gym and not getting stronger. Today's all about working our slow twitch and how do we train them. Think about all the things, the cool shit that you could do in 30 seconds. What if you're a distance runner or climber? That 30 seconds is cool in bursts, but what happens two hours later, 30 minutes later, slow twitch happens. And it starts here in the gym with me, Coach Johan. Thank you for joining me. Today's all about slow twitch, so let's talk about it. It's not about lifting really slowly. That's friggin' ridiculous, and I've heard that before. Nah, slow twitch is just, they twitch slower than the faster ones. Three ways to do it. You're gonna do 60% or less of your one rep max. You're gonna have a time under tension where you're working two to three or four minutes. And you're gonna do that a lot of times. So many sets. Now, with my athletes, two types of sets. Super sets or long sets. The bent row, kettlebell snatch, and a work with the hex. Let's do it. 30 reps is too many. It doesn't benefit you. It starts to become cardio and your muscles, yeah, they're still working, but they're not gaining. Well, big muscles quit after like 30 seconds of work. So if this is really heavy, and I can only imagine do like two, and then I gotta stop. There's no way in hell it's impossible for me to do two, three minutes. Now I can superset with something else. Hey, so there it is. The first way that we make this a slow twitch move is we work our 20, 30 RM, probably more like 20. Whatever time's left remaining, we finish up doing body weight. Because you could, in theory, do, man, 50, 60, 100 reps of body weight. All right, let's move on to the next one. We're gonna do this with the kettlebells. I'll work with both my bells. So here, I can do two, three minutes of this, but this is an explosive move. Strength theory says you would go with something decently heavy and really explore doing this in its most intense form, i.e. for fewer than more reps. So instead of looking for a power move, I'll just work a nice, Grindy move. I'll clean. I'll step out. I'll step back. Other side. So I'm gonna add a little flare to this. I'm gonna twist and step out, re-rack and push back. Rack, step out, re-rack and push it back. One more. I think really highly of kettlebell flows. Go to the website, coachyohancscs.com. You can see how I work my fighters and athletes using flows to keep their time under tension really high. All right, that's the long set. Let's superset. I'll pick something relatively intense. Remember our strength theory. Use as much energy as you can for the time under tension you're looking for. 
So let's just say that I'm looking for 6, 10, something really intense. I'm now gonna superset. I love my body weight work, so we're actually gonna hit the floor right now and just pop up. Okay, just pop up. Pop up. I'll bring the hand behind and I'll just keep this going. Think about that. You can do that for two, three, four minutes straight, right? There you go. All right, family, get yourself your hex or trap bar, whatever you call it. Let's start with the long set. Now, I'm gonna be able to do 30 of these, right? That's gonna take me a minute and a half. I go really slow, maybe two minutes. So what do I do to keep this motion going? Get the heart rate up and get the slow twitch active. I'm gonna change my joint angle, all right? So here and straight down. Hinge forward, straight down. I'm alternating. Now I'll probably end up doing 30 or 60 in a row. Well, why? Why coach? Why can't I just do 30 of one and 60 of the other? Because at least the big muscles, they're gonna quit. The little muscles like to stay active. If we keep the little muscles grinding this whole time, they're still getting work. Even though it looks like I'm doing the exact same move, it's a little hip hinge right there, little joint angle shift, means different muscles. Mostly the same, but different ones. When I do one move, some of those muscles rest or they're lengthening, they're isometrically holding. When I do the other, they contract. So they are constantly under some sort of tension. If I just do 30 of one and then 30 of the other, there's no more tension. If there's no more tension, the big muscles rest, they have a chance to jump back in and help out and that's not what we want. We want those big muscles to kick rocks so little muscles can burn. Excuse me, muscle fibers. All right, so now for our superset, let's finish up. Remember, we're gonna take it to the limit. One thing that I can do with this load is add some speed into it and some plyo. And without a doubt, that's a super twitchy move. Watch my video on fast twitch muscle fiber training. And that's one of the type moves that we do. That's twitchy AF. Now let's superset. This is your leg pull, okay? This is your leg pull right here. Add those taps. So a little appropriate reception. Bend them, pull them, tap them. Bend them, pull them, and tap them. And you can keep that going for two, three minutes. I'm sure of it, I believe in you guys. And that's how we do this slow twitch business. I told you it wasn't sexy, it wasn't cool, but it's gonna get you strong. Fighters, grapplers, isometric warriors who are holding the same position for long periods of time, gutting it out. Marathon runners, cyclists, don't stop lifting weights. All you're gonna do is slow twitch train. So did I answer it? Did I answer how you're going to build muscle slow twitch wise, because this is building muscle. Let's recap. We do about 60% of your one RM, right? We do two-ish minutes or more, and we're gonna do a lot of sets. We do a lot of sets, we either go long set or super set. So if we do that, we get the big muscle fibers to chill, take a little time off, and the little muscle fibers start to do all the work. 
okay? The big muscle fibers will recoup, which is okay, because they'll shut off again as they start to recoup. So the way that we have to work is to tax those small muscle fibers all the time, knowing that the big ones do recoup. If we do that, we can get them. We can do what's not sexy because you're going to remember that it's always sexy, never to be tired. And that's why we do this. See you in the next one.